Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> no, this is not me. Welcome back to Coffee and Cards. I'm sorry we haven't had one in so long, but I've been hopping just like this little frog. Four hops in a row, so that kind of pushed Coffee and Cards off to the side for a little bit, but we're back and I've got lots to show you today. And this adorable little frog is Sophie's, and it was sent to Sophie by my sweet darling friend Naomi out in California. She's always sending Sophie cute little buddies to play with, and this one is no exception. And if Sophie wasn't sleeping right now, I wouldn't even be able to get my hands on it because she loves it. She really loves it, Naomi. Thank you so much. I probably shouldn't have done that. She's going to wake up. But it's really, really cute, and she does love it. And it had this little tag around its neck that Naomi made. It says Sophie. And I love this eyelash fringe that she tied it on with. And I think this paper's from the Die Cuts with a View pet stack. But thank you so much, Naomi. And that's not all Naomi did. She sent something for me, too, for Sophie's mama. <laughs> Look at this wonderful purse. In fact, she sent me two purses. This one is so pretty. It's on this shimmery pink cardstock, and she took a paper piercer, and she punched holes all around it, which really makes it look really pretty and nice. Got a beautiful silk flower on the front, and this almost looks like crushed grass or glass, Naomi. I know it's not glitter. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really, really pretty. But we open the Velcro. And inside, here's this adorable tag. Naomi's blog is Scrapping in a Zoo. And that's why she put this tag on there. Uh-oh, Sophie wants her frog. <laughs> Here you go, Soph. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> See, she loves it. I'm not supposed to touch it, except to play with her. But she's got this beautiful background paper. Love the ladybugs, Naomi. And down here, Naomi's put some tags. It's just like a little wallet. And here's a picture of Sophie she put on this pretty little tag. Love this paper. And it just tucks right in here. This is a Starbucks card. Thank you so much, Naomi. You know I love my coffee. I will be using that. You're so sweet. And in here we've got pictures of Naomi's fur babies. They're so cute. This is Samuel. See, there's there's his name right there. He's got his little blue and white sweater on. What a cutie. And here is Colt. Can you see Colt? Wish I could just reach right in that photograph and give him a pat. He's so pretty. Well, I shouldn't say pretty. He's a boy. He's very handsome. And this is Fred. See? Fred. Look how cute Fred is. Oh, I love this, Naomi. And I'm going to put these pictures up on my ribbon board so that I can look at these adorable fur babies. Thank you so much. You are so sweet and so creative. I love this. And this other little tote or purse is full of goodies. Naomi, you shouldn't have. But I'm so glad you did. Thank you so much. Isn't this cute? I love this paper. So cute. Look at these pretty silk blue and white flowers. Love those. Those would be so pretty on some cards and some bling. We can never have enough bling, can we, ladies? And these gorgeous K and Company tags. And they're so beautiful for spring. It's got all the pinks and yellows and the flowers. Oh, look, polka dots. Love polka dots. Ladybugs. Just beautiful, beautiful tags. Butterflies. Thank you so much, Naomi. You're so sweet to me. I appreciate you so much. You're just the kindest lady. And look at these adorable little tags. Sweet as pie. So sweet. Little cupcake and sprinkled with love. Aren't they cute? I can see these on a couple of scrapbook pages with my little granddaughter, Lily. Really cute. Or maybe even something with Sophie. I've got to work on her scrapbook. I have not done that in a while. That would be cute for her, too. 
Once again, Naomi, thank you so very much. You're just the sweetest lady. And I will give you a link to Naomi's blog, Scrapping in a Zoo. You will love going to her blog. It's so much fun. She always has pictures of her fur babies, and she tells you cute little stories about what they've done, and you'll just get a chuckle every time you go over and visit her. I loved going to see Naomi. <laughs> Thanks, Naomi. Now, I finally got to check my mailbox the other day. I hadn't gotten to go for a couple of days. And look at this gorgeous, gorgeous card. This is from my friend Donna, and she used Tate's ABCs on this, and look at this gorgeous card. She's got it on some ivory cardstock. Love these pearls. Just love them. And she's cut out a scallop square, and this is some toil paper. I can't say that very well. T-O-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, I think is how you, it's French. <laughs> That's, I can't say it. I've always had trouble saying that. But she sent me a whole pack of this beautiful paper. It's from Recollections, and it's got polka dots and these gorgeous prints and this toile paper. Look at that. But isn't it gorgeous on this card? Now, she's cut little Kate out. I don't know if you can see that. She's got her cut out three times and popped up three times on pop dots for some added dimension. That is a gorgeous card. I had never thought about using Kate as a silhouette, but it's perfect. Just perfect. Thank you so much for sending that in, Donna. Donna has a buddy named Jack, and that's a beautiful black cat. She sent me a picture. I'll have to cut that out and show it to you. But she also has a blog, and I'll give you a link to that. It's scrappingwithjack.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for this beautiful paper and this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous card. I love it. Look at this. Oh, and there's so many sheets. Oh, and it's such a nice weight, too. Stripes. This is just going to make some beautiful, beautiful cards. Thank you so very much. Y'all are just so sweet and so nice. Thank you again, Donna. And I'll be sure and give you a link to Donna's blog. Because I got a feeling you're going to be seeing some more beautiful things over there. That's just absolutely beautiful. Y'all have just showered me with gifts lately. Look at this. And look at this beautiful card. This is from my friend Laura and my friend Gabby. And they had been watching and they knew that I liked creamy brown chalk ink and Laura said she heard me say I was almost out so she sent me some creamy brown chalk ink and an applicator you just pop this on the back I don't know if you can see that picture and you use it like an applicator I can't wait to try this thank you so much Laura and Gabby you guys are so nice and look at this beautiful card. If that doesn't say springtime, I don't know what does. This is from Walk in My Garden. Love that. that wheelbarrow. And here's some nice little grass down here. Love this background paper. That is so sweet. And she's got a couple of breads. Here's a dragonfly in pink and a purple butterfly. So pretty. This little sign is from Walk in My Garden also. And she put thanks. And here's some little flowers. She cut the stems out and then put little silk flowers on there with white breads for the centers. So, so pretty. And it just really screams spring. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Laura and Gabby. You guys are so sweet and so nice to do this. And I can't wait to use this. I've never seen one of these before, but it's going to be awesome to use. I love your card. Now, I also got a cute little card, and this is from my friend Katie O out in California. Is that not the cutest thing? Look at these bees. Just love it. I love this paper. This is from uh, some color box paper that I've seen before, and she's got these little bees on the corners here that match, and I think this is a little piece of chocolate wrapped in a bee wrapper. Isn't that cute? And I love the polka dots behind it. Down here we've got a little scallop border. 
and she's got some bling on there that matches the wings of the bees and then she's cut a little scallop border to go around her sentiment I just love that and see when you open it up inside you see the little piece of candy oh and see this I think this is from is it sentimentals I think so it's a little beehive love this card Katie thank you so very much and I will be giving you a link to Katie's blog as well so you can go over and see what other wonderful things she's created so very cute thank you so much Katie I just love that one well guys I've got more to show you but I don't want this to run too long I try not to take the videos more than nine or ten minutes because I know you guys want to go and look at some other things and you don't want to spend all your time at Cards TV so let me show you now what we looked at today all these beautiful things oh my and I'm going to be having another coffee and cards in the next day or so because I got more beautiful things to show you you guys are so sweet I just feel so blessed to know you and get to interact with you and to get to see all these beautiful cards and things that you make y'all are so creative and so talented but if any of you would like to have your card and your blog featured on Coffee and Cards, just send it to Mary at Post Office Box 426, Georgetown, Kentucky, and we'll get your card on and a link to your blog. And if you don't have a blog, don't worry. You can still send in a card, and we can still feature it. Love to do that. I just love to show everybody what awesome, created, talented people there are out there. There's so many of you. <laughs> Thanks for coming by today, guys, and I'll see you in a few days with another Coffee and Cards. Got more to show you. Bye now.